Hello everyone, welcome to Danimal's house. Today's project is we are gonna demonstrate what it's like to take stumps out of the ground, tree stumps with a John Deere 3039 tractor with a 385 backhoe and an 18 inch heavy duty bucket. We've got some little trees, medium sized trees and some big ones. We'll give you a great demonstration of how that backhoe works to take stumps out of the ground. Here we go. Holy shit! So what we're doing here is we're clearing out this center area that's always a wet spot all summer long and all winter long pretty much it's got water in it. So we figure we'll just use it and it'll be an ice rink for the kids to mess around with. So uh, we've got a bunch of trees in here that we're just clearing out. Some are dead, some are we're, we're alive that we're just taking out anyway. But we've got everything from a little two inch tree stump here. This one's about a four inch. Uh, those are going to come out reasonably easy and then as we come over here we can kind of see that you know these are some bigger bigger heavier tree stumps here I mean this thing at the base is probably 16 inches uh, up here it's probably about 11 I would say um, you know this tree is going to take a lot of work to get out a 385 backhoe is a nice strong backhoe for a compact tractor but you know, take that with a grain of salt, all right? It's, it's not a heavy duty excavator. So uh, you gotta be careful you don't wreck the machine and you gotta be careful that you're not, you know, prematurely wearing it out with, with this. Uh, this is gonna take a lot of work to get these big ones out, but nonetheless, if you only have to do a couple, uh, it can get the job done for you. So let's take a look at how it's gonna go. All right, so this is what we're gonna up here. This thing is about maybe two to three inches uh, down at the base. This is similar to what for this particular tree, this is what the root system looks like. Uh, so at this with this situation, what we're looking at doing is just scratching away the grass on each side. And then I'm gonna take a good hardy scoop and we should have the power to rip that out pretty quick. So uh, for the backhoe operation, it always seems like you got the most torque when you reach out the farthest. And so I'm just gonna get on the, the right side, I'm gonna take a little bit of the grass off just so I can see it. I'm gonna go on the left side, take a little bit of the grass off just so I can see what I'm dealing with here. Now I'm looking at it, I didn't go very deep. I'm just gonna take another bite on each side and I just heard a bunch of cracking, which is uh, some of those roots ripping off. So now here, <clears throat> I basically have almost everything ripped out. So now I'm gonna be able to just grab in the back here and I'm gonna to try to get under it a little bit and then turn that bucket up. And that did a pretty good job of loosening that. And this next scoop should be it. Uh, also, when you're taking roots out, you really wanna kind of take the root out and leave the dirt in because, you know, then the root is lighter. So. So there, we got it out nice, and then shake around a little bit. I played around with it a little more with it down in the hole, and that's because I like to have that dirt all off of there so I can manage that with my hand, or I can just you know more easily pick that up. So, you know, what was that, five scoops? That was pretty easy, you're gonna have no issue. It's the big dogs that are a lot harder. So let's move on to the next size. Okay, now what we're looking at here is a pine tree stump, and uh, this one's probably five inches maybe, but a pine tree and a cedar tree are very different trees than like an oak tree. Uh, an oak tree is gonna have a big tap root. Some other trees have big tap roots. Those are a lot harder to get out. Uh, these have pretty shallow roots. I took off maybe three inches on each side, scratched a little off the front. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push this thing forward a little. And since there's not a big tap root, that is pretty easy and loose. And then this thing should come right out of here real easy. And uh, so there's a good example of how some will be easier than others. Also, these roots on these pine trees, it's a soft wood. They're really nothing to break with this machine. Um, but when you get into the hardwoods where they're a little bit bigger, more substantial, then you have a lot harder time. So any extra dirt on there, I want to scratch off, just kind of hit it and uh, play around with it before I scoot it out. And then uh, that, and that should be ready to go onto the burning pile. 
So, all right, let's keep going. So I want to show you this one real quick. This is about the same size tree as I was just working with there. Uh, I was telling you the last one's a pine tree. It's a soft wood and there's not a big tap root. And it was real easy when I scratched on the left and right side, it was real easy for those branches to just get destroyed by the power of the backhoe bucket. And now this is a little different story. Uh, when I tried to go across the top with the first couple of grabs, uh, I got hung up on the roots and it, it stopped my machine pretty much. So um, I had to go a little farther away. I had to massage it a little bit, get them to break off. And then I had to go quite a bit deeper here. I'm probably a, a foot deep right here with this. And this is the exact same size tree as what the last one was. So now I'm gonna get on here and I'm gonna see if I've got it loose enough. And uh, yeah, okay, I do, it came. But look how much more is there. Like, I, th that last one just pulled right off the top. Look how much more mass is here. And this is the exact same size tree we were just working with. And it's still only like a four to five inch uh, wide tree at the base. So you can imagine as we're uh, building to the story here, uh, those big trees are nothing to mess with. I mean, they're very strong and they're hard to work with. So I just wanted to show you that. Let's keep moving on. All right, it's time to get into some bigger trees here now. Uh, those last ones, like I was saying, you know, those are pretty routine, pretty easy for that machine. Now this tree is gonna make us work. So we gotta use a little bit of strategy, a little bit of patience, and a little bit of luck with some of this stuff. We, we've got pretty good conditions overall. The ground is pretty soft, so it's not real hard to dig. It is a little bit uh, mucky and there's some clay underneath here. Uh, and then overall, uh, this is, was an alive tree. So I'm, I'm anticipating this is gonna show us how difficult it is to get some of these out. To give you an idea here, I've got eight inches right here and I'm standing, uh, you know, this is probably about four and a half feet right here. So eight inches, four and a half feet up. Down at the base, I'm looking at probably uh, 10 inches down there, like right where the tape is. And then down here, probably about 12. So what I need to do here is I'm not gonna be able to just scratch and rip all the roots on this one tight to the base of the tree uh, because I'm not gonna have enough strength to do that. The wood is gonna be stronger than the machine. So I'm gonna probably have to come out maybe a foot and I'm gonna have to start digging down. By that point, when you're a foot away, it's a little bit less strength on each root. And so hopefully I'll have the power to break through them. If not, we'll show you how to use the teeth to try to break through them slowly, uh, like pass by pass. So, all right, let's get going on this one. So I'm gonna scratch that top piece of grass off and hope I get lucky I, so I can see what I'm doing here. So again, I'm about a foot away from the base and I, there I hit one, but I, we were able to power through that. Okay, so I'm looking to get down probably at least two feet on a tree this size on each side. So I, I do have to uh, pay attention to what's around me here. I'm thinking about what it is that I'm gonna do with my dirt. I'm just gonna put one pile on the right, one pile on the left, because I gotta be able to get at it from the other way, because we're gonna scratch away. Well, this is going really, really nice. Uh, there are, I am guarantee there's roots there. It's just, I'm not hitting any right now. So there was that little bit of luck part I was talking about, uh, but we'll see. So I'm getting, now I got down maybe a foot and a half. Now I'm gonna get a little closer and I'm searching. I'm thinking, oh, there you go. There, I hit one. So I'm, I know there's gonna be roots there and I gotta pay attention and be ready. This is a great way to wreck your back hole. There we heard a little crunch. <laughs> if you've got that arm, that hydraulic arm that does the bucket tilt, if you've got that all the way extended like this, and then you start cranking and wrenching on it, it's gonna bend. So I've seen Tractor Time with Tim bend his. He didn't tell us how. I've done it myself. So Tim, if there's any chance you're listening to this right now, I feel your pain. And I'll tell you, I'm never gonna wrench on it again the way I did because I don't wanna pay for a hydraulic ram repair. Fortunately, I was able to get it taken care of under warranty in my case. Um, another trick you can do here is you can tilt a little bit. I wanna get as much mass as I can off on the bottom because it's gonna be really heavy. So I can tilt a little bit and then that'll just scratch the wall off a little bit along 
the base. And, you know, this is going really well. We got lucky with, uh, with not having a lot of roots right down under there. But I'm just gonna maybe take one more scoop out of there and then uh, we're gonna get going on the other side. Okay, while we're scratching across the top here, we found one right away. Right there, I'm dead. So I gotta kinda be careful. Uh, once you know you hooked it, you might have to back away. Again, I'm gonna just go a little farther away here. And uh, almost, come on. There, now we got her. So we ripped that one pretty good. Okay, so that, that's a pretty big root. I mean, those little ones on those eight inch trees are nothing, but these, these here, I mean, these are some serious strength uh, roots to get after here. So every root that you break, you know, just kind of reduces the strength of the tree, uh, its ability to stay into the ground. So I'm gonna come forward a little bit here. You know, sometimes a tractor will pull back because you're putting so much force on it. Sometimes you gotta reset, get a different setting here because you're pulling back, especially if you're in wet ground. Um, you can kind of see my, my stabilizers are pretty well in the ground and they're moving big time. Uh, and so, eh, you know, if I had bigger pads or something, then I would do a better job. But I'm gonna try to get down here about two feet and then, um, and then I'm gonna go at it from a side angle and we're gonna get that out of there. All right, so I just moved a little dirt out of the way here. Uh, if, you, if you're just digging on one tree, it can go both sides with one sitting and then just turn 90 degrees and get the other sides. I got some other stumps to work around here. So uh, I got the two sides just finished and now I'm gonna work on the, the back side, and then we'll finish up. Now we've got, we've got some, a big root right here. Okay, you can tell because when I'm pulling on it, that whole tree and everything's moving. So I don't, I don't have the power to get through that right now. So I'm just gonna go a little farther away and then, ooh, it's almost going. It's almost, it wants to, you can see it pulling. I'm just gonna put my, my teeth like kind of parallel to the ground and I'm gonna see if I can cut through that. And that does a, a nice job of trying to pull, like a lot of times the teeth will cut into the root like halfway and, and then uh, it'll work. So we get, you can see, I mean, we're, we're quite a ways away and we're just there. Now we ripped a pretty good chunk off of there. Uh, I will say this is a hybrid poplar tree. Uh, I don't know, I, I mean, I don't know exactly what the hardness is, but I'm sure an oak tree is harder because uh, you know, our oak tree or our maple tree or something would be harder. So I'm going through this stuff, but this is uh, relatively softer material. Just kind of keep that in mind. Then sometimes you gotta screw around and get the stuff out of there. You can see this tree is alive. And I really like the idea of keeping the, that stump a little, uh, little taller when you cut it. I know it's, it's not as easy to do when you drop the tree because you got to reach up. And if you're trying to pull with a rope or something, if you want it to go a certain way, you know, it's just kind of a pain to deal with that stuff a little higher up. But when it comes to digging the stump out, uh, it's really a lot nicer to have that leverage so I'm trying to get down and I'm trying to get as much dirt as I can uh, away from the base of that tree to take the weight off of it so that it moves and bends easier. So let's get it moved over and get on the other side. All right, we're moved over to the other side here now. This is the last run of it. Uh, I gotta move over maybe a foot or so and I'm gonna try to work a couple of these last roots out. Um, that one came off pretty easy. And I, you know, this is like the, the gravy section of it, really, to be honest with you. That first run of it, the first hole is the hardest. And then uh, the second one's kind of equal, equally as tough as the first. And then once you get uh, the, to the third and fourth sides, uh, it's a lot easier because things are looser in there already. So uh, we're in really good shape here. Like I said earlier, uh, get a little bit lucky with some of this. 
Uh, the, the root system on this one really wasn't all that intimidating. So once you get everything scratched around it, usually what I like to do is I like to go up top here where you got some leverage and push forward. And then you can just see all the mass underneath there that it is holding on. So now comes the you know, fun slash annoying part of playing around here. Uh, should try to scrape as much dirt off of that as you possibly can because there's no sense uh, bringing more of that out than what you need. And in this case, I could probably lift that whole thing without a big problem. <laughs> but you get into a one step up higher tree, uh, half your weight's gonna all be in just the dirt and muck down at the bottom. And so we can, you can mess around here and try to, uh, try to get it to spin a little bit if you can. Try to get it to turn around. Uh, it's, your guess is as good as mine as far as the right way to do that. Uh, you pretty much just grab and pull and twist and see if you can get the thing to move. Um, if you're dealing with, uh, sometimes you're dealing with a pretty deep hole and you gotta like, you, you gotta like slowly inch the thing around. There, I got her to move. Um, now I'd like to twist it around a little bit before I kind of reach, get it out. Um, I wouldn't mind taking a little more dirt off of there, but it looks like this is where we're gonna end. So uh, we'll go ahead and fill this hole up and then we're gonna step up to uh, the, the big dogs here, which uh, are gonna be very tough. It's not gonna be as easy. This one went pretty well. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, this is as far as we go here. So this is a, a, about as big a tree as we can possibly tackle. Uh, I'm gonna be patient with this one. I want to just kind of talk you through what we're dealing with here. So we were the last one we did at about feet. It was uh, I think it was 10 inches wide. So at four and a half feet right here, uh, we're looking at about 11 inches wide is what this one is up here. And then uh, down at the base, we're probably uh, pretty close to 16. So uh, this is going to have some serious uh, strength to the roots that are around this tree. We're really going to have to work hard to get it, uh, you know, slowly but surely broken loose. All right, so this is the last step. Everything went really well here. As it turned out, we had uh, a ton of water filling up the hole here, so whatever roots uh, that were in here really didn't have to go that low to find water, which meant they were easier to come out. A drier spot, the roots might have to go down farther to get water so they would grow bigger, deeper. Uh, but so we got pretty fortunate with this one. Uh, it's quite a bit of mass. I can't lift it with the backhoe. It's really hard to roll this out of here. So I'm just hooking on a chain and I cut off the extra section that we used for leverage. And now we're gonna get this thing out of the ground, scratch some dirt off of it, and we're gonna call it done. All right, that about does it. I hope you found that useful. Uh, we've showed you a variety of small stumps and uh, different varieties of trees to dig out. You're gonna have varying conditions out there. Uh, you know, basically, uh, hopefully this gives you a good flavor as to what the 385 backhoe on the 3039 tractor will do for you. Uh, I, I, once again, I do have the 18 inch heavy duty bucket that has the four tines and I do believe that is a little bit more helpful with digging out trees. But uh, thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you on the next episode of Danimal's House.